Searching for the place called home I know that I've been called aside Ignore the dreams too many lies 3 a.m. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a border like so in Photoshop of images to make a completely different looking image like this. First of all, here's the original and then I edit it like this. Basically all you're going to need to know in this tutorial is the pen tool because the pen tool is the key element in this tutorial. Um, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, uh, I'll try to do my best to at least give you a little bit of idea how to use it here. But I suggest you um, watch the pen tutorial first. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a quick tutorial, a short, on how to do an embordering. First, um, you can pick any area you want to start with. I started with the most detailed part because I want to get that done first but you can start anywhere you feel like um, and any image will do more challenging so first you're going to zoom in um, and you can drag get your pen tool and you're going to click where you want to start so start here and then you're going to click where uh, along the path and you're going to drag it to smooth it out around here in this area and then you're going to click again and when you drag this little dots, they um, show you where the the next path is going to be angled towards. So, like, if you click here, see how it curves up? That's because this little um, thing, I forgot what it's called. Uh, when you drag it, it'll change your angle. By dragging this, you can click, you can hold down Alt and click on here. Or you can press Control to move the little dots in case you move or unless you screw up so here we are this is just quickly showing you and I'm dragging out another one just by clicking and dragging on here with the alt button hold down and see how it's all the way out there so when I click here it's gonna come around you can see nice a nice little curve around here you can drag and make it more curved whatever I don't work too much on detail but I do try to get it at least looking a little nice and you can go around here alright not the greatest little thing but I was just trying to go quick and it's um you get the concept alright right now I'm just gonna be working over what I've already done but anyway alright so what we're gonna do is now now you're gonna go down and make two layers over the top of your image first this is gonna make it easier for you to be able to work and see what you've done so what you're gonna do is you're gonna first go and press shift D and set your colors back to default and you're gonna click on the bottom layer right above the picture you're gonna click and hold down alt and backspace or delete and it's gonna fill the entire background with black and then you're gonna drag it over here down some underneath the image so that when you're done you can um, when, after you've done what you've done you can click and check this off so you can see through and see the pure blackness and the image will go away and you'll see how it looks so now we're gonna get into the filling part right now we just have a path oh and you wanna make sure when you're doing this you wanna make sure it's not on um, it's not on this one it's on the middle one because the middle one will give you dots and this one will make it more of a, a vector mask or shape but um okay now the next part is you go to your um, paintbrush tool and you pick a brush size I picked the diameter too but it also depends on how big your picture is if it's um over a thousand pixels um, by a thousand whatever uh, I recommend brush two pixels maybe under that one pixel maybe a little more depending on how you want it to look but 
we'll go with two pixels right now. All right, so we'll zoom in, and then now that you have your brush ready, and make sure its hardness will either be 100%, so that it's pretty sharp. You can change it, however. You use your um, pen tool and right click, and you go down to stroke path. Now that you're at stroke path, you go to the brush, if it's on a pencil or brush, whatever, you click brush, and make sure stimulative pressure is off. Now, I'll tell you about that later, but first, just make sure it's off and press OK. Now you have that, it makes the, <clears throat> the painting around here. And now you can delete the path. And now the path is gone. And now if you take your um, your image and hide it, you can see in the black background that you made before, it has now made an image, uh, a white line sort of shape. But after you get it all together, it sort of starts to look a little like this. But uh, this took me quite a few hours, and that was because I was just bored. But it, it takes a little while of your time. But it also depends on whether you want to be really sharp and accurate on your lines or if you just want to go by quickly and do it briefly. Like, you can work really hard on making sure that the lines look really nice and real, like this. Or you can just basically click around the picture however you want it have it looking however you want it you know blah blah and then once it's done quickly you can just um, go onto your layer and then right click and then stroke path and then press OK and you delete the path and then you just um, hide the picture and then there it is whatever now obviously it's not good looking but that's just how it would look if you briefly went through it now I'll show you what stroke path means Okay, and now that we've drawn this part, um, I'm going to show you what the, the simulated pressure does now. If you check it, it'll actually make it so that when you go to look at it, it actually makes it so that it's like if you were putting pressure on a pen or a brush where it goes from lightly to heavier towards the middle and you pick it back up so it goes lighter. This is good for certain areas, like when I did in mine up here. In mine, I put put it around like the shadowy areas, and over here, and in the wheels and stuff like that, just to give it a different effect. But you can use it however you want, depending. And that's basically it. Now you can do whatever you want to the image. Um, I like to sometimes, you know, uh, I'll I'll give it a mask like this and then on the mask you can just take the gradient tool and then drag it from here to here and then fade it out a little bit maybe maybe fade it out a little more you know just your preference make it look a little more mysterious you know you, you whatever it doesn't matter but anyway um and that's basically all you need to know. Uh, thanks for watching.